There's also other talents that I thought were really interesting in terms of driving vegetation that increases uh, rejuvenation instantly heals your target for a specific amount. It's a two. It's a two part. They also both. You have to remember this. They buffed your rejuvenation and they took away adaptive swarm. Okay, this is a boss. I don't know what this does. Let's express our rake. Go into kitty form. Apply bleeds. We have hired the wild. We're pressing shred, so we deal. So I'm actually healing people. Okay, the melee range of this. I need to do some healing now. Actually, no. Let's go into our convoke. I'm gonna keep rejuvenation, life bloom on this guy. Keep the fluorescence, and the boss is dead. It's just not. It's not hard enough. These bosses are not. Uh, they're not doing enough to check out the power of the druid. Two new hero talents, Keeper of the Grove and Wildstalker. They're extremely, I'll be honest with you, they're not ground-breaking in terms of what the, how they're going to change your gameplay. I haven't messed around with the Keeper of the Grove too much, but the Wildstalker is honestly seems to be quite passive. I'm applying my Sunfires. I'm pressing Rake, going into the form. I have my Heart Wild. I'm pressing a bit of shreds to heal. My heart wild lasts for 10 seconds every one minute. Again, I'm running. I'm running Call of the Elder Druid, which is one of the new. It's not really new. It's it was there for a while, right? Like a PvP talent. You, you I think a lot of people will try out Virgin Infusion. You can't really get flourish now because of the same node of photosynthesis. Uh, you also don't have don't have adaptive swarm, which is probably one of the biggest complaints that I've seen. So I made a video. Let's get hired the wild. Shred, 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 shred. That's probably the biggest complaint that I've seen so far about people complaining about losing adaptive swarm. But Blizzard basically said that hey, we're kind of increasing your, we're increasing your rejuvenation. We're trying to make that a bigger part of it. And I was really kind of thinking about this, in terms of they also said they kind of want to make it easier in terms of playing rest of Druid because right now if you're playing rest of Druid specifically in like. Mythic Plus content, there is a lot of like maintenance hots you have to keep up, you have to set up, you have to do, and I think I understand Blizzard's rationale here. Okay, this is a boss. Let's go. We're, we're gonna pop hard. You know what? We're gonna pop hard wild and just spam rat. Oh, hard wild just has. It's still on cooldown. It's still on cooldown. We're not gonna be able to use it. Again, there's not enough damage. Like, oh, oh, he's doing a frontal or something. Hard wild rat. Let's go. What the heck, man? That pushback. So my rat is supposed to heal people. Let's see. You see this? You see this? You see the heals going off? I could technically go in and cast the uh, uh, shred instead, shred or swipe. But honestly, I love this. I like anyone who likes this kind of healing to damage. Rest of Jude finally gets to play around with it, and that's the whole dungeon. So that's that's not that many bosses. But it, the fact that you get to play around with Call uh, Call of the Elder Druid, while in Hard Wild, you're doing healing to damage with specific spells. Fluid forms honestly feels really really nice because you just go up through the mob press rake or shred and you just instantly go into the kitty form which feels again fluid i guess it feels fluid adaptive swarm is not here that's probably the biggest complaint that i hear uh, that i heard from all the rest of druids uh, the fact that it's not here it's basically the rationale of blizzard is that they want to reduce the complexity or at least the buttons for restoration druid and honestly when i really i i had a thought about this yesterday and if I really had to remove an ability from Rest of Druid to make it feel a bit more uh, easier to play, even though I really enjoy the thematic experience of Adaptive Swarm jumping from target to target and all those things, the fact that, like, what does it do in terms of gameplay? You kind of have to use a weak aura to really micromanage it. What can I say? If I had to remove it, I can understand why they did it. I can understand why they had to remove or why they chose to remove Adaptive Swarm. Even though, thematically, I think it's really, really fun. We're going into kitty form. We're swiping away. Our Heart of Wild is supposed to... It's supposed to be healing people. We're proccing Heart of Wild. We're swiping. Let's go. Let's see if our swipes alone are going to be enough to heal up the group. Oh, beautiful. You have to remember, when you have Heart of Wild, uh, certain buttons heal the party. Heal true damage. 
This is one of the big new changes they added, which honestly, like for example, right now, let's see if he pulls something. I'm going to cast Wrath. I'm going to cast Wrath of this boy. Look at this. I still have Hired the Wild. Look at this. 200k, 200k, 200k. I'm healing. I'm healing through damage. You can cast Wrath. You can cast uh, Shred. You can cast Swipe. You can cast Starfire. I'm healing through damage, man. So now we're going to go into kitty form. This is fluid form. So we're going to press rake. We go into kitty form. We cast shred because we have hired the wild. We cast shred. So I want to heal. I want to heal through damage. So you can see this kind of fluid. You can see this kind of like a fluid gameplay that Blizzard is trying to do with the new talents. I, I should do that every one minute. I just press to go into kitty form. This is something that I need to get out of in terms of habits because with the fluid form, uh, Shred and Ray can be used in any form to shift into cat form. So I should never press it outside of getting like speed boost or dash or whatever because it's just wasting GCDs, right? It's something that I need to get used to. Like right now, I press Ray and I'm dealing damage. I've hired the wild. I'm pressing swipe here. I'm not sure what the best DPS is going to be. Because you have to look at the Heart of the Wild and you'll notice, ooh, explosion. I'm going to cast Rats just to show you the healing through damage. The circle thing, that's my, I think, my weapon enchant. You see that? That was my fluid form. I pressed Rake and I went into it straight away. That was beautiful. What the heck, man? It's okay, this is a boss. I don't know any of these bosses. Let's apply Rake going to... We don't have Heart of the Wild. So we're just going to apply damage. I'm going to keep pots on the targets. I'm going to keep scenario ward, fluorescence, dispel. I'm going to... Okay, this is swift mend into wild growth from soul to forest. Got to dispel this. Going to apply sunfire, moonfire. Going to go into rake. That's going to give me higher the wild. I'm going to apply shred so it heals people. Rip for damage. Shred, shred to heal people. And the boss is dead. And I still have higher the wild because, again, we talked about Call of the Elder Druid and then Dream of Scenarios synergizing and Fluid Form synergizing. Increasing the power of rejuvenation because, let's be honest, if you're playing in Dragonflight Season 3, Season 4, if you're doing Mythic Plus content, rejuvenation is not really up there. They're adding new talents. Don't look at these talents. I'm just messing around with a bunch of things. Rejuvenation instantly heals your target for a certain amount of, uh, or for a percentage of its total periodic effect. They also have buffed rejuvenation. So I can see what Blizzard is trying to do here. The only thing, and we tried out Wild, uh, Wild Stalker, extremely passive. Want to try out Keeper of the Grove. This is going to focus more on your Grove Guardians. Grove Guardians are here to stay, even though they did nerf Grove Guardians. They also nerfed Wild Synthesis as well. So we'll have to see what they're going to do with Grove Guardians. And we'll have to see what they're going to do with Restoration Druid and Raids. What is, go what is going to be the niche of Restoration Druid and Raids? I don't know how all of this is going to translate in Raids. What it's going to give you a niche to play. Is it going to be another season where you're basically playing a Druid because of Mythic Plus? Or you're playing a Druid in Raids to get gear so you can push Mythic Plus because Dragonflight was like that. It's going to be, again, I'm, I'm relatively happy with how fluid it feels to do cat weaving and damage and healing to damage. It's just We'll just have to see how the rest of the toolkit is going to compare in raids. Overall, super excited. Let's go, guys. Hire the wild. And we're spamming Starfire so it heals people. There's not a lot of... Is there a lot of healing needed? I can't tell if it's OP or if it's just not doing a whole lot. I need logs to see it. We have all debuffs. Okay, let's start fire this. We still have hired the wild. Let's see. Okay, there's damage happening. You can see the bars move a little bit. Oh, I'm slow. Yeah, I have Grove Guardians though as well. That's the problem. And I'm actually running Keeper of the Grove just to check it out. Okay, let's see. No, no, this is not going to work. I got hired the wild again. Starfire this. Uh, the mob is dead before I can do anything, brother. Let's go.
how the world's going. We're trying out Keeper of the Grove again. We're trying out like a caster build here. Just to see how it works. We're not going to get hit by that. There's no shot. So we're going to get Heart of the Wild. Star Surge. Heart of the Wild. We're going to... Oh, we're going to spam a bit of Starfire as well. There's quite a few mobs here. Dude, every one minute for 10 seconds you become Discipline Priest. Or during Heart of the Wild. You become Discipline. And you can choose how to do your damage. Like right now I'm trying out the Caster build. But my in previous... In the previous slides, I was obviously trying out Convoke! Again, you don't have Moon can Convoke, so that's a bit weird. But I was trying out Cat Weaving, and Cat Weaving was so fun, man. Cat Weaving is so fun because you have better synergy with, like, a Fluid Form. Right now, Fluid Form doesn't really do a whole lot for Rat and Starfire because you don't know Moon can Form as a Resto Druid. Guys, I'm not gonna use any healing abilities here. I'm gonna try not to use healing abilities. I'm gonna just purely try to use when damage happens. Hire the wild. Okay, this boss is dead. Hire the wild and we're spamming wrath. Wait, is this actually okay? Okay, wait, what? These are mobs. We just wasted hire the wild. These are mobs. Come on. Come on, my hire the wild. 30 seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're just spamming wrath. We're just ratting. Let's go. You can see the healing. I'm trying not to press any other healing buttons. I don't know if I'm supposed... I think I'm supposed to kill these. I only got one, which is actually extremely disappointing. <gasps> or maybe not. Or maybe... You see the bar moving. You basically... My Heart of the Wild is going to expire. It's expired now, but I have Star Surge into Heart of the Wild. More rat spam. Let's go. This is experimentation. Is that gonna hit us? Do we have to move? No, we don't. Actually, really interesting. Honestly. Again, we're just doing a caster build here just to try it out, but you can do the same thing with uh, with Feral Form. You can go into Kitty, you can use Shred, Swipe. And you can have more fluid uh, Kitty weaving with Fluid Form. No pun intended, right? I like it. 